Welcome back. Would you like to introduce these next young ladies, please? That's what I live for, Dan. Please do. This is Kim Markowski and Heather Parsons from Goodwill Industries. Yes, they're sitting opposite of how their names were listed, but that's okay. okay. <laughs> no, don't let it happen again. <laughs> we won't. So what's going on over at Goodwill? Well, we just wanted to come in and, and basically educate the community mm -hmm. about what we do. Um, everybody knows about the Goodwill store, uh, but they're not familiar with the Goodwill Career Center. And what we do in the Career Center is we help build people's lives and uh, the community through the power of work. Uh, we help people find jobs, and that's important. Um, we help give them a hand up, not a handout. Mm -hmm. So we assist them versus just saying, you know, here's a job, go to it. We help them search for a job that's best well, for them. Well, that wasn't Goodwill's Industries first priority was it? Was this something that they added well, on their, to their? Well, their first priority was helping the disabled. Okay. Right. And, and then over time, we've spread that out to anybody with a barrier mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And a barrier can just be that you're unemployed. You don't yeah. have a job. Yeah. Right. And you need to put food on your table. And is, is the career center at the over by the Goodwill store? Or yes, where it's is inside it? the okay. store. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the back of the store. If you go all the way to the back, there's a computer lab. And how many computers do you have, Kim? Twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And will you help people actually with the application process yes. and mm -hmm. how to go for an interview? Yes. Do you help them with the all whole of thing? That? Yeah. Resume development, interviewing skills. We help them do <coughs> online searches. We take them from ground zero to employed. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, what about problems they may have along the way? Do you assist them with any kind of education or yes, we're really advocacy for them in some way? We focus on um, resources, helping them find the resources that they need. If it's something we can't assist them with, mm -hmm. we know there's someone out there that can. Mm -hmm. And so we help piece them with that person. Now, you, you're having an event that come, is coming up. When it, what is it about? Mm -hmm. How long is it? And We're all those kind of things. We're having a hiring event. It's going to be for Epoxen. It's going to be at the library, the Donald W. Reynolds okay. Library, Public Library. Okay. It's going to be from 1030 to 230 on Friday the 19th and they can just come and we'll walk them through the applying process and get them interviewed and hopefully get some people it, some jobs. Well, I guess it would be somebody that maybe have a job that may, 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 may want to lose or not lose, but maybe going from one career to the next. Absolutely. And they may want to have some little extra information. You can help them too, is that right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We yeah. can also teach them how to transition the skills that they currently have to make it more marketable to another job that they're looking for. People don't realize in, in their jobs on any given day that they do X, Y, Z things. Mm -hmm. They just go to work. We help them really pull those skills out to be able to present a picture to an employer mm -hmm. of filling the employer's yeah. needs with those mm -hmm. skills. Yeah. What about someone that, that has trouble getting a job? Are there, are there checklists that you go through to, to like appearance or yes. being persistent yes. and those kind of things? Yes, we yeah. teach a, a job lingo class and it covers all those things from, you know, setting an alarm clock to get up to go to yeah. how you're supposed to dress, to what to say, not to say in an interview, how to follow up after you've gone right. and had an mm -hmm. interview with somebody. That's a big thing. Yes, it, it is. is. Following up because yes, the people is. that I've hired have always been persistent. Mm -hmm. They've come back. And uh, an employer may see, you know, three people, or you may see 50 people, mm -hmm. and you may get lost in the crowd, but Absolutely. you may be, may be a consideration over here. Mm -hmm. But the one that, that stands out or comes in at the very right, proper time may get the job. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Is the career center for all ages? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, 16, 16 and up, and up um, basically 16 because that's when people can start getting right. a job. Right. Um, we've helped individuals, um, I've had classes come in that are younger than 16 just to kind of teach them some life skills mm -hmm. and help them understand what's coming up and what, what they're going to be needing to do in the mm -hmm. future. Mm -hmm. And also to help them start planning, you know, this is where you are in life, this is what you want to do, what are the steps that you're going to have to take to get to this ultimate goal that you have? Mm -hmm. Is there school that you need? Is there specialized training that you need? We can also assist them with finding resources mm -hmm. for those educational processes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any employees connected with you that you work with that that say if when you find somebody let me know or oh lots yeah. of them in the community <laughs> yeah okay okay <laughs> lots of them we have employers that call us and go hey we're looking for xyz skills if you have somebody who comes mm -hmm. in your office that has xyz skills could you please you know we yeah. pre-screen the candidates oh, okay. for those employers so it's possible mm -hmm. you may go through the the uh, opening process and then might have a job at the end of the absolutely day. yes Okay. Absolutely. Good deal. Okay. Now this is happening again when at the library? 
It's going to be on Friday the 19th from 10.30 to 2.30. 10.30 to 2.30, okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to let us know about? Um, we covered the information pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, we pretty, we did. What are the hours? If yeah, that's good. It's from nine till five, Monday through Fridays. And we also have a um, computer lab in the back. And the computer lab is available for public usage. Um, the whole time that Goodwill is open from nine o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the night. Um, Monday through Saturday and from 10 until 6 on Sunday. Do people have to set an appointment for the Career Center or just it, show up? It, it's both. They can show up, but it is better if they do set up an appointment with me so that I have the time available to maybe help them go through those processes. Mm -hmm. Do an online application, develop a resume for them, contact an employer for them mm -hmm. and it, so that we can go through the whole process. Uh, we also wanted to talk about how many people that Goodwill has assisted this year Absolutely. with services. Mm -hmm. What were the no numbers on that? Yeah, for the last fiscal year, um, Goodwill as a state, uh, we serviced over 12,350 people and we placed um, 2,760 people in jobs. Uh, so far this year, uh, we have served um, over 550 individuals and placed um, 150. Um, I'm sorry, Home. that was Mountain, Mountain Homes. Homes. Okay. Yes, Mountain Homes specifically, that's what they did last, mm. last fiscal year. Wow. So. And then this year, uh, since July, we've placed 274 mm. people mm -hmm. in jobs. Such an important... Uh, concept. I didn't realize Goodwill did that, yeah, did yeah. you? And, yeah. and we're not only for the individuals, but we're also assist the employers in finding great candidates, and that's what our hiring yeah. event does. Yeah. It marries the candidates with the employers and yeah. skill sets that are needed. That's good. Mm -hmm. And again, okay. that's Friday, December 19th? Yes. 19th? Yes. <laughs> Starts at 1030. 1030. Goes to 2.30. At the library. It's a quick yes. event, yeah. and if you're interested in that, go on down to the Donald W. Reynolds Library. Is it is there a certain room or is it on the, the main floor? When or we come into the main doors, we'll have people to escort them escort. to the areas okay. that it's going to be at. So it's mm -hmm. all uh, laid out for you. Just come in and they'll, they'll show you where to go. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much for being here. And Thank you, be, you. Ca be careful driving home. Yes. Be safe yes. in driving that three hour trip back to, <laughs> what was it? Jonesboro. Jonesboro. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much Good for having us today. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Up next, uh, we have our last guest, and it's going to be some furry friends. Some furry friends, mm -hmm. along with their human friends, uh -huh. their human friends from the Humane Society. And we'll let, we'll let the animals introduce them when they come. <laughs> I think that that would be great. That'd be great. We'll do that That'd in just a few minutes. Stay with us. <laughs>